you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new if you are new hi i'm abigail i make christian videos every week to help you guys to let the truth be told over your life i make christian videos on sundays and vlogs and beauty style videos on wednesdays and today because today is wednesday i'm going to be filming a hair tutorial for you guys and it is going to be these curls that i just filmed the video on um a lot of people are always asking me how do you curl your hair you know what stuff do you use and i'm going to be going through all of that today this is my first method of how i curl my hair i have so many different methods of how i do it um, but this one lately has been my favorite and has been one that i've been wearing probably every sunday a good amount of times throughout the week so i hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's just go ahead and kind of get to it <laughs> All right, so starting off in the shower, I really highly suggest, this is usually what I use. Today I didn't for some reason, just cause I ran out. Um, but using a gentle shampoo and conditioner, um, I usually use the, um, what is it called? The Heritage by Mindy. I'll put the picture up here. Um, Heritage by Mindy and I will use their gentle shampoo and as well as their high volume conditioner. Um, I am big on just getting shampoos that are very, that are, are not going to just strip my hair of all of the oils. Sometimes you want that at least once a week, you want a big detox, but not for every day. Um, so I recommend looking for a gentle cleansing shampoo. I know that Herbal Essence has, um, some really good ones. You can, so that for shampoo and conditioner, that's what I like to stick to. Something gentle, not something that's just going to like suck out every oil in my hair. All right, leave-in conditioners. I am really, like I kind of mix between a lot. Um, so I use, sometimes will mix between like an oil or just a cream. Sometimes I'll even just use my straight conditioner. Using like a pea sized amount of any conditioner and then just mixing it with a little bit of water, rub it around in your hair, hands and then put it in your hair. It works. I know some people might think that, that it's gross, but that's literally what leave-in conditioner is, is they just add more water to it. So yeah, don't worry. Um, but anyways, I like to skip between the Whey. Um, this is their leave-in conditioner. I skip between this as well as the Amica leave-in conditioner. And sometimes on occasion, I will use um, the Heritage by Mindy, um, their Argon oil. Okay, and talking about the tool that I'm gonna be using, I am using the Kristen S um, one inch hot tool. Um, this is a titanium barrel, which I like. Here's my reasoning, is because ceramic barrels do not have even heat distribution. And for those of you that have hard to curl hair, titanium is the way to go. Um, look for titanium barrels. Kristen S has a really great one for a great cost. Um, so, yeah, that's why I like to use this one. Hairbrush or hair comb if you got it. Yeah, let's just kind of go ahead and jump into it. So for those of you that have somewhat naturally curly hair, my suggestion for you, which is exactly what I did, is either you go and blow dry your hair um, after you shower, or you can just take a straightener, which is what I, because I like, like to let my hair air dry. Um, take a straightener and then just go in and do like a rough straightening. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just getting out any kinks that you might have. All right, so before I start getting into the method, I really want you guys to start practicing this technique on a cold barrel. So you're gonna take your hair and just take about like a one inch size section. And then, oh, and by the way, this is a one inch barrel, just an FYI. You guys are going to take it, having the clamp facing towards you so I can see the clamp. You guys can see the clamp. Taking the clamp, clamping it down, dragging it down the hair and start twisting it to the, where the clamp's at the back of the hair. You're just gonna kind of keep pulling and then twist it to then it's back at the back. And then leaving out just a little bit of hair. And then duck out, pull it down. So for the longest time, I always had issues with having like little lines on my hair and I never could figure out why it is that that happened. And then I learned it. So the reason that if you guys are just barely starting to do this, um, you guys will notice that you will have little lines on your hair. And that is because your iron is way too hot. You need to 
go down a couple degrees. Mine currently is at 325. You don't need it any more probably than that. Um, that is the lowest heat setting that the Kristen S iron will go to. Um, but yeah, you're either holding it on your hair way too long. And if you're barely holding it onto your hair, then just go down to a lower heat setting. It'll help you in the long run. It'll help you not fry your hair. <laughs> After curling my hair, I just kind of like to let the curl set in this ringletty kind of position. I do not leave it like this because this is not the way this hair is going to end up looking like. Um, so I am letting this side cool. This side has already been cooled, so I'm going to kind of just go in and start separating the curls. So I just kind of go in and just take each little ringlet thing and then break it. going to then be using the Peacemaker Beach Spray by um, CGX. I'm just spraying this in there. <laughs> I don't like this texturizing spray. So after shaking my head around and just kind of messing around with the curls um, and kind of getting them into the looseness that I'm wanting, um, I then am going to go in with my hairspray. This is the Heritage um, by Mini Wiggle Wriggle Room Flexible Hold Hairspray. I'm just going to kind of shake it up. doesn't leave my hair feeling crunchy or like I don't know if you know like when you use some certain hairsprays like I've used a lot of different kinds and some of them will just leave your hair feeling like they're, like they're crunchy this one does not do it so those are the curls Alrighty guys, there you go. That is one of the techniques of how I curl my hair. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are new here, hi, I'm Abigail. I make Christian videos as well as lifestyle hair videos vlogs. Um, twice a week I upload on Wednesdays as well as Sundays for a faith-based episode. Episode? <laughs> That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> For a faith-based video so if you are new here you guys can click the subscribe button down in the description box and click the notification bell right next to it to be notified every time i upload a new video so with that being said i'll catch you guys all in the next one bye guys